I'm gonna send. Oh, I hear uh, Eric off. Yeah, gunfire. Run, tat, 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 tat. Really easy to forget just how big this place is supposed to be in the original Savage as well. But like, look how tall that's supposed to be. Look how tiny Barrett is up there. Oh! Well, he just died. Oh no! Wedge! He's not okay, but he's still alive. How the fuck? Like, I'm surprised you couldn't even speak. Like, like that should have been an insta-kill. Yeah. I, I guess fall damage doesn't exist. Oh, no. He, he, wedge, wedge is not okay. We will never see Wedge again after this scene. But <laughs> he gets to have a last word. So then even that's surprising. Okay, so Aerith is going to get Marlene out of 7th Heaven. Yeah. Marlene gets to be fine. So this is the part of the game where Barrett's team falls apart. <laughs> like, we've already killed Wedge. Oh, we're at... You can four. only use tent while you are uh, over... Oh, you're on a safe suite. You should be able to use a tent. No, it says I'm at full. Oh, okay, so the game killed you automatically. Right. I mean, Tifa's still depressed, but... I mean, honestly, given the situation, I don't blame her. Oh, pretty, pretty accurate to uh, how she was feeling. Was that Jesse? Um, I think she's higher, but it could have been. You can find uh, Biggs and Jesse somewhere up here. Stupid helicopter troopers. <laughs> like, it's the dumbest, best idea I've ever seen. Like, I'm here for it. I don't know what they were thinking when they designed them, but I'm here for it. Like, the, they should be flailing all over the place because that's not how helicopters work, but okay. Like, helicopters need to have another rotor to stabilize them, and they don't. They're not using their other arm as a second rotor. <laughs> Jesse right now. I saw like a pile of brown. Yeah, Jesse. We're playing OG Final Fantasy 7. Every character can be described as a, a pile of insult color characters. That's true. Man, this God, is wait till you see Sephiroth and you wonder how anyone was ever intimidated by that. Oh, have you not seen his PS1 model? No. Like, it looks fine when it goes to serious mode, but he looks just as derpy as everyone else. <laughs> like, Sephiroth does not have a better model than any other character in this game for the Overworld. <laughs> that both makes sense and is kind of disappointing. I mean, luckily they have the foreboding music, which I genuinely think OG7's uh, 
It's what Sephiroth has two themes. There's the obvious one wing and angel, but the one that accompanies them through most of the game is uh, this darker and more foreboding version of the track. But like, like this version of the song says he might do something, while one wing and angel is saying he's doing something. He's gonna he's do it! it. <laughs> Okay, and let's, so... let's all be honest here, the, the threat that he might do something is creepier than him actually doing something, so it is. You'll hear it eventually. That's exciting. Uh, depending I... on how long we play, maybe even tonight. I oh, really this my door open. hearing, uh, like, boss themes can make such a huge impact on your thoughts on a fight. I mean, One Winged Angel is legitimately one of the coolest themes I've ever heard. Like, I've Love One Winged Angel. Like, I've really contemplated, um... Like, um, Other Promise in Cage 2. Like, yeah. I'm wondering how tense that fight would have been without it. Like, there are definitely moments that are, like, made more tense without music because it like really makes you feel the gravity of the situation i don't uh, other promises a pretty good job of making you feel the gravity of the situation one second i'm gonna be right back no you're fine all right my dog pushed my door open so sounds might more easily come through if my dad happened to walk by or something I don't like it. Okay, so Fox's Jesse... theme is very laid back and chill. It's not the type of theme you would expect from a boss fight. So I think it does kind of the same thing that no music would have done while yeah. also listening to a really cool track. Yeah, a boss song track that doesn't sound like boss So now we're fighting Reno. This is our not Axel. Attack the triangle to free Barrett. Oh, so he's just stuck in there. Yep. And if he gets all three characters, it's an automatic game over. with them later on and they don't have it. It might be just to teach you that you can target your party members as well as your opponents. Which casting cure on the enemies would have been fine. Or me accidentally attacking one of my party members earlier. Because I'm yeah. a dumb. He really likes hitting Barret with that. In my bed. Stop. We're gonna get it wet. No! Stop it! <laughs> That's how dogs do, my dude. It's time. So yeah, all he was doing was stalling until it's too late to stop the pit plate from falling. And I joke that it's sometimes hard to feel the gravity of the situation in 7, but honestly, the plate falling sequence I yeah, feel this pretty, Maybe. pretty thoroughly. He ran past Tifa so hard that she spun around. Yes. 
Why would I know how to do it? Um, God damn it, Aerith! You're old! Okay, Aerith, this is the part where you tackle him off of the helicopter onto the platform so we can make him undo the bomb. I mean, honestly, if you did knock Tang off that helicopter, he still probably wouldn't do it because he's pretty loyal to Shinra. He probably would have would rather explode with the bomb and be buried under the plate than help you. It, it would have been worth a shot. Oh God, that slaps. Oh God, I forgot he straight up smacks her in, re that, in, in like, the original. That slaps MP3 sound effect too. Yeah. Like, that was crisp. Like, in Remake, he just sort of met motions for some Shinra soldiers to take her away. But he... In this game, he just smacks her. Oh, shit. Shouldn't you have flown away before that started falling? Uh, now's the part where we run, right? Yeah, uh, so unfortunately, there's no... In, in about, a, about two more minutes, there won't be a Sector 7 anymore. Let's go! Tifa! Baron, we, we need to get the frick out, maybe? Well, why Barrett just... ran over. Go, go talk to Barrett. Barrett! Okay, so we're all gonna ride the Barrett out of here. Well, this is convenient. For a game like this, it's a pretty cool one. You should see them swinging out just in oh time. Oh my god. And in OG7, they they imply that there were no survivors. In remake, they have a few survivors that they show up, but in OG7, they don't they don't give you that. I mean, they literally dropped a city on another city. It's kind of I'm gonna be honest. For no I'm gonna be honest. There being survivors kind of makes this feel worse. Oh yeah, you listen to his- He's listening to classical music. Classical music while he's watching yeah. billions of people die in an instant. Okay, maybe not billions, it's one It's one city, but- God, that was just full on Age of Ultron right there. Yeah. The plate falling sequence is- one of the heaviest moments in early Final Fantasy VII in a very memorable sequence. And Barrett's reaction here is pretty genuine for PS1. Although, holy shit, his PS2, his, his uh, remake performance deserves an Oscar or something, because holy shit is it good. I can imagine. Thanks. Wedge! Jesse! Even this is just poignant enough. I can't imagine how Remake does it. Oh, yeah. Like, Remake really does make you care a lot better than Original does, and that's impressive because this is you can pretty easily care here. One of the things I'm, I'm particularly looking forward to Aerith's death in Remake because I felt nothing in this game. Part of it was because I knew it was coming, but part of it was just because I didn't really find Aerith that horribly interesting. So her death didn't affect me that horribly much. But in Remake, I really like Aerith, so I think I'm going to care when that happens. Makes sense. Like, if you know a character death is coming, it kind of makes it harder to care in certain contexts, but sometimes it makes you care more because, like, you know it's coming and you hate every oh, second yeah. of the build-up. I love Jesse in Remake, 
And so I had already played seven. I knew she was going to die, and I was dreading it the whole game. Yeah. like I, I And think... it hurt. Jesse's <laughs> death and remake hurts. I have to they imagine. Do... Yeah, it's... <laughs> Whole, instead of uh, the battle theme playing, they've got a much more somber theme playing the entire climb up the plate, and it's just showing you the fall of Avalanche. Oh, well, um, this is a bit of a mood win last, isn't it? Yeah. Suddenly, house. I'm what, licking my pen. What's the remake for this thing like this anyway? Well, in a remake, the missiles are supposed to be like furniture and stuff. Uh, and they, the plot reason of it existing is it's just a contraption that Don Ferneo happens to own, kind of like absurd. Ah, oh, I see. It's not explained at all in this fucking game. Big lipped house moment. So I just decided to give them a minute, so I'm going this way. Ancients. Sephiroth. Yep, I figured that was Sephiroth. Okay, so yeah. we need they're, to... They, 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 they're kind of implying right here that both Aerith and Sephiroth have a link to these Ancients. Okay, so we need to get to uh, uh, Aerith's house to ask about that, right? Yeah. Plus, hopefully that's where Marlene is. Yeah. It is. Ifalna is basically the excuse for why Barrett doesn't need to worry what to do with Era with uh, Marlene most of the game. Just ha he just has Ifalna babysitting while we're off saving the world. Is she gonna blame me for Era getting kidnapped? Because in my defense, I didn't want her to come. Uh, Ifalna's pretty chill. <laughs> You are going to learn a little bit more about what Aerith is when you talk to him. Oh, hey, plot, 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 plot. How exciting. Yeah, plot, 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 plot. Everybody! Uh, perspective is a bitch. Perspective is a suggestion. Oh, hey, another house. I mean, don't you have to fight houses on your everyday commute? Only on Tuesdays. Only Tuesdays. Yeah, and today's Wednesday, so it's weird. I don't know if it's a thing with this one, but in Remake, the house switches its weaknesses. So... That might be why no particular spell has seen me do any more damage than another. It might be cycling for weaknesses. That's a nifty gimmick. It's, it's a, a nifty better. gimmick, but in Remake it makes it the hardest boss in the game. <laughs> At least story boss. The hardest boss in the game is Bahamut, but he's an optional boss.
Yep, here it is. God, I still hear, like, in the first beginning, like, lyric, not lyrics, uh, in the first notes of this, uh, Shion's theme, and that keeps throwing me off. Oh, the do 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 Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That had to have been intentional, right? It's not entirely wrong to call them the Shinra. They are an organization. I suppose that's a, an effective pluralization if you're not talking specifically about the corporation, but the people in it. True. Uh, I never, I never really thought about it anything more than just put it in there. herself involved in this. Don't blame yourself, Tifa. 
I specifically tried to get her to leave us alone. That didn't yes, she did. That didn't so, work. yeah. Barrett's very happy to find out that Marlene's alive. Your Daddy, whiskers your whiskers hurt! hurt. <laughs> I shouldn't interrupt. Yeah, Barrett's initial reason for going with you is that he's grateful for Aerith's help, so he has to help rescue her in return. Um, Marlene, you awkward child. That's not something you just say to someone. Since I always aim for Tifa, I say I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, Marlene right. doesn't like that answer. Dummy. <laughs> Dummy! No, that's all she'll say if you talk to her now. <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought someone was hammering on the door to the house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Barrett no. was like That's just barreling Barrett. towards it. <laughs> I, I I love Barrett. He's great. Oh my god. Absolute psychopaths. The lot. All right, so this is basically where the beginning of of Endgame for Remake is. Like, you climb up to where Shinra is, you invade their castle, their fortress, their office building, and what's the difference? You save Eric, you get you GTFO, and once you leave Midgar, that's where credits roll for Remake. Okay, so Once you leave Midgar here, though, that means you have a whole nother uh, four-fifths of the game to go. Wow. I consider this game about 50 hours long, and Midgar is the first 10 hours. Okay. Uh, is Wal Which way is Walmart? Isn't that over here? Um, no, I think it's down. Pass through the freaking house pit? I think so. Let's see. Because the house pit just led to the playground. Yeah, and then from the playground you can get to Walmart. Pit. Oh, it's that way. Remember the chariot leading to Walmart went through the playground too? Oh, that's true! Right. That's where we saw Tifa got kidnapped. Ah, oh, Hedgehog Pies. I don't know why they're called that, but that's what they're called. He's in tight. They are not strong. They're really annoying in Remake, but yeah, in OG7, they're barely good. In remake, they can animate animation lock you a lot. Ooh, you can get like stun locked. No animation lock. Like you get trapped into an attack animation they're doing, and you kind of have to wait for the animation to be over till you can move. Ugh, I hate that. Eggs and bomb for the Yes, we shall punch a house. That seems like a brilliant idea. I mean, if anyone can punch a house and make it so the house is hurt more than her, it's Tifa. I mean, yeah. Like, in Advent Children, doesn't she eat clouds so hard to a sonic boom? Oh yeah, there's a scene at the end of the game, uh, at the end of the movie, where uh, all of Cloud's friends are helping Cloud get higher and higher up to d like cross slash a uh, thing in the air, and Tifa's the last one, and Cloud steps on Tifa's fist as she's hardcore punching, and she punches him to the thing, and yeah, there's a sonic boom. Chick is crazy strong. There's 
There's a lot of like anime flippy shit in Advent Children. I'm down for it though. I know some people don't like it, but I'm up for it. One of these days I'm gonna have to get my hands on the... I, apparently there's an English translation version of Advent Children, but when I bought the movie, it was Japanese subtitles only. So, I'm gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> Do we get to bully Don Corneo again? Cause that seems like a good time. We can put Bear in a dress! So you remember that big wall that said Avalanche? Oh, yeah. Is that- You're going there. If I can remember where that is. Oh, but there is a guy at a shop here who sells batteries, and you're gonna want to buy them first. I almost forgot. It's one of these shops. Oh! I'm watching this one. Okay, so I can buy a drug for Tifa, because she's still depressed. I'll buy an extra 10. Mm -hmm. Is she just going to have that status effect until I heal it? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, I think they go away eventually, but it's usually specific points in the story, not anything else. They, they let... Those static effects are pretty lasting. Because I'm just here thinking that that would be a... Oh, right, this is the one with the... Yeah, that one never works. That's the hotel. I think the shop is above you. I think it's this one here. Oh, up here? No. Um, the that's, that you that's right the barbecue past. place. Oh, it might. There might be something here. Oh, cover material, do you have that yet? Uh, yeah, I've got a cover material. All right. You might want to put it on Barrett. He's kind of the best one to have it right now. And you're going to be sticking with Barrett for a pretty long time starting now, so you might as well arm him up and stuff. Yeah, so this is the place where we can buy non-Korean barbecue. All right, so, okay, so not here then. I can't... It's one of the shops. One of the shops, a guy will sell you better. This is the closing shop, so not this one. You dress normal today. If something else comes up, let me know. Oh, it might be the trash guy. He might be the one who sells them to you. Oh, you can buy better weapons and stuff for people. And better weapons are usually a good idea because it means more materia slots. Also, better bangles means more materia slots as well. Plus, it looks like Tifa is squishy, so that sounds like something I should fix. That man just has a tank. Oh, here it is. Here's the guy who sells you batteries. Yeah. Yeah, they were talking about the guy that ran the weapon shop outside. Alright, so, so I was getting a little ahead of myself. Yeah, so... My brain decided, hey, you know what, that actually makes sense. Let's give Tifa the ability to punch things even harder. Because God help humanity. Hey, she really showed that wall what for in Kingdom Hearts 2. That wall went crying home to its family. And their family felt the punch. God, she wasn't in Kingdom Hearts for long, but she made an impression. Yeah. Thank you, small children. 